Hello, welcome everybody in this uh, new video. Today we will do a little uh, analyze of the final sprint of the marathon uh, in the Roller Games Barcelona. Uh, that was a super nice sprint with a wide, nice uh, downhill finish line. So quite interesting uh, scenario happen here with a uh, bad swing uh, leading the sprint, followed by some French guy, some Colombian and Felix Ryan. So to make this analyze, we will um, go first into uh, we will look first at the, um, the where the um, the race took place also was on uh, in Barcelona and um, we will check this here uh, this very nice actually uh, very nice straight line that we got for this um, for this uh, finish line so you can see there was a right corner uh, before the finish line so this was uh, the the right corner before the sprint then all this straight line is quite long quite wide uh, and it's uh, it was a little bit downhill so if we check exactly uh, the measurement for example uh, we know that the finish line was almost there until the last corner uh, we can see this was about 260 265 uh, meter longs for the sprint. So quite a long uh, finish line, quite tricky because we had a um, right corner before uh, this finish line and it was a little bit downhill, so quite a difficult scenario to calculate how the skater need to, to manage the sprint. So very interesting, very cool uh, for this race. And let's jump into the technical analysis of this race, or maybe first, first we can have a look, of course, of uh, the video of this sprint. So we see Bart is leading. We have uh, three, four guys behind, like uh, Ewan Fernandez jumping to the right now, Nolan Bediav jumping to the left on the screen, and Felix Reinen in the draft. And we can see Nolan first, Bart second. Felix third and um, I think Ewan Fernandez got four. So let's jump now into uh, my usual tool and first picture I took. So I'm still, um, we have to jump into the tool to check how does I, we can analyze this. And we have, of course, here uh, the picture of the race out of the corner. So Bart is leading. We can see that Bart is first. And uh, we're going to use, like I do most of the time, uh, this tool to uh, analyze, not some technical analyze, but some tactical analyze. So you can see on the situation I took that um, you can see that my scare, they are not uh, really in the same distance. I had to put them a little bit more far from each other because uh, I have some technical problem to explain good, but normally there would be more in the draft, each of them. So first here, we have Bart, and then uh, second place, we had Ewen Fernandez, then in third position was Nolan Bediaf, like we, as we can see uh, here on the picture actually, and here we have Felix Reinen, who was in fourth place, and on the outside, we have Alex Coavante from Colombia. So this is the starting situation out of the corner. And from there, um, I think we can analyze a little bit. Um, let's try to show who is in good position in terms of drafting. Maybe I can make uh, some little info there bringing some info information so if we look basically from the top you can see that Bart is leading and he's taking the win so he's really uh, not in the best position taking all the the wind for a resistance we have Alex Kouravante on the outside like on the picture here also alone taking the wind and we have a three skater in the draft with quite good position um, in a sprint downhill like this, quite long, 270 or 65 meters is a very long downhill sprint. So you have to be super strong to be able to to get the to maintain the speed for so long in such a sprint. There will be a lot of draft, and it's not so hard to be 
behind. So here Bart is very early in, in front and but he's in the train. That's a good point for him. He's in the train, so he has kind of an advantage. When you are in the bigger group, in the bigger line, uh, you have a big advantage in a massive sprint like this. You see it's a massive sprint. You have maybe 40, 50 skaters just behind, ready to go. But uh, it's already the last straight line, so not far from the finish. On the outside, we can see Alex Coavante is alone. So he's almost almost out of the game at this moment of the race already because when you're alone like this when you are um, taking this position uh, so alone like this uh, you take too much wind and you cannot compete you cannot really compete against uh, pack so basically he is going almost backwards compared to the other guy so it's quite difficult for him in this sprint and the first part of the sprint here this is what happened to him if i take out for example this picture we're gonna probably see i don't know if i, if I can do it you see he's already a little bit after 50 meters in this uh, finish line we can see alex coavante is already out of the line we still have bart in front followed by ewen ewen is super close then you see uh, Nolan in third place is little more behind. So at this moment, here on this, uh, if I select Ewen, in reality is much closer to Bart, which is a problem. That's actually the problem of Ewen in this sprint because he had very good position, but he was too close from Bart too early. So in, when you're like this, you don't have really choice. You cannot slow down. When you have your speed, you have to you have to take it. You have to use it. So at this moment, um, at this moment, when he's second, he, he, he has to go. He has no choice. He need to, um, he need to go outside basically. So this is what he's gonna do. He's moving to the outside. Then uh, basically, he will have to take also the same draft as um, what's happening for uh, Kuravente behind also. So very difficult position also for Iwan at this moment. He's taking the draft and he have to compete against a guy like Bart. So it's very hard to pass Bart in this situation at the beginning of the straight line because uh, Bart can resist this kind of um, effort. So it's a difficult position for Ewen, but he had no choice, he had to go, otherwise he would have to slow down. And if he had done this, stay longer behind Bart and slow down, he would have basically killed also all the speed from his teammate, which is Nolan Bediaf just behind. Actually, by moving on the outside for Ewen was the best move they could do for the team, because there is a difference here in terms of draft. There is the draft that protects you, that like the protection of the, uh, the air resistance coming from the front. But there is a bit of drafting effect also sometimes is when you're not totally close to the skater, there is an effect that you are getting aspiration. I don't really know. I think it's draft in English, but it's easier to get closer. It's building speed for you. So at this moment of the race, uh, Nolan is getting basically the free speed, he get really the free speed from the move of Ewen. So it's really good for um, it's really good for uh, Nolan at this moment because he can really uh, use this speed to move a little bit to the outside. So that's what he's he gonna do first. He is able to use the draft to come behind Bart. Then he's moving to the outside. I, I should have done this way first. So let's go back to the Y. So he's first going very close to, to Bart. Then he's moving to the outside. So at this moment, we have three guys fighting for the for the 
Oops, I forget my English a little bit. Fighting for the the final sprint. So no problem. He also three guys taking the also the um, the wind. So they are facing the same effort basically. But Bart is in front since quite long time, and um, he has this advantage compared to uh, to Nolan now because now Nolan is more fresh. But he's uh, having the same uh, air resistance to, to fight like Bart. So we have this situation not so long before uh, the finish line. So the train is finished. I will delete this picture, for example. So I don't know if I'm doing it good. It's a bit slow with my computer. Not this picture, I want this one. I think it's the good one, yes. So, if my computer is reacting good. So you see now we have this situation for the final sprint. We have, I can do, keep, duplicate this also, for example. So we can see that they are all facing, well, my computer is fighting a little bit. So we have three skater having the air resistance. Only Felix is a little bit behind using the, some draft to come back. But that's basically a perfect situation uh, for, uh, for Nolan at this moment because Bart, he had to lead 260 meters, so quite a long sprint. So that's a big advantage for Nolan. So he can at this moment take uh, the lead of the race actually. So. That uh, was a really cool uh, move from the French team. And I think also at this moment, Felix was the, uh, doing very good because he was patient. The good point he did in his race in this uh, sprint actually was that he kept, he stayed in the train as long as possible. So that really helped him to, um, to get into the, um, the third position. So he was able to pass a win just last moment, just before the finish line. I don't know if we can, I can get this again. Maybe I have this picture in the background if I did my work good. And you see, yes, in third position, then uh, Felix here, he could pass a win just the last moment because he was super patient. He could wait in the biggest train as long as possible. So he maintained a good uh, draft behind the other. Bart did very good because uh, in this kind of race, in this marathon, he's kind of the leader, the boss of the pack. So he have to take his responsibility and the Belgium team and Bart, they did good. They put Bart in front position in the last corner. I think that's uh, the normal plan in this situation. It was a bit uh, tough because he was alone with uh, three good guys behind and even more. But uh, when you have Ewen and Nolan in your draft 250 meters from the finish, then it's super hard to resist. And it's super impressive. It could resist and still stay on the podium. That shows how much speed Bart can generate uh, in a straight line for a sprint like this. But very good move uh, from the French team here, actually. Uh, very nice teamwork from Ewen. He didn't play his own card. He took the risk also a bit early and it really opened the door for Nolan for the last moment. So very good tactic, very interesting. Uh, to see how it was built. And actually, uh, this scenario happened almost the same few months later, but in a different order uh, during the marathon in Berlin. But that's going to be uh, analyzed for, for another video. We will see this in another video. And uh, here, I, what's important to remember is take the good draft, take the good line in the final sprint when there is a big pack like this and make sure you keep a little gap that you are not too close from the guy in front of you. If your place is secure, if nobody can get in, make sure you give a little space so you can use the drafting effect at its best to go over speed and be being able to pass uh, the skater in front of you at the last moment before the line. Thanks for following this video. Don't forget to subscribe as always uh, to get some more video and some more information as soon as I can. And uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you.